Welcome to today's videos, guys. Today we're going to be going through a big leg session at MuscleWorks in Orpiton, which we haven't been to for a while. There's going to be some new exercises on the table. So we're going to be doing deadlifts, pendulum squat, and a few others in particular, actually, for arms as well, which we're going to take you through step by step. First, though, we are going to get our pre workout, probably just send meals together, pre workout drink together. So we have that with some ice. Uh, get my intro workout drink as well, which I said to Lewis, I have smashed both two shakers, the big bottle ones, on the same morning. So we've been downgraded to the Evian water bottle and I'm trying to get rid of the water in there because I can tell if I probably put all the powder in there, it's not going to mix. So we'll get rid of some of this and then put this together and then head to the gym. So what we're actually going to do, I'm trying a new pre-workout, which is the Dr. D one from uh, Supplement Needs, but um, that actually works really well, the pump forming, and now I've actually got one in the garage, so we're going to do a pick and mix and mix two pre-workouts together, one pump formula, one pre-workout, so it's going to be exciting. You'll be dry with the roof now. Of course. That's a, that is the debate. The sun is at Costa del Sorry. How I maintain this glorious suntan, which is from Sunbed. Anyone who would like a future video that's going to be happening. This is my car is like a supplement shop plus training accessories. Don't anyone break in. We've also got ads fit massage guns, which will be coming to a YouTube video too soon. Once we actually film those, code child or 30, I don't know what it is, but we'll let you know in the YouTube video when we film that. Oh. Okay, so first exercise we're going to do is an adductor. So adductor is very basic groin muscles. Adductor is very important to stabilize our hips. So first two exercises we're doing are adductor and hamstring uh, focus. So on here, what we're going to do, we're going to do a muscle round. So we're going to do uh, four sets of six reps to failure, which is just going to get loads and loads of blood uh, pumped in through to that area to get nice and warm, fired up, and then we're going to hamstring curl after this. So next up we're doing a lying hamstring curl. So this is a, a prime lying hamstring curl. So what's nice, you notice it's got three pin position, which basically means you can make the exercise heavier or lighter at a certain range of the movement. So for example, when you get to the very short position where your heels come all the way up, is where you're weakest, you can adjust the weight to make that lighter at that point. So the exercise can then max the strength curve. So uh, we can have, feels quite heavy already. We're gonna probably warm up a little bit more on this. And then we're going to do two sets of 10 uh, and then go into deadlift afterwards. That kicked, that kicked in way quicker than I thought. Way quicker. It was eight, nine maybe. Okay, so now the final games begin. We're going to go into uh, deadlift. So the reason is why I'm doing hamstring and adductor first is those are the main muscle groups I'm trying to focus on in my lower body, so I'll train them first, do almost weaken and pre-exhaust them before I come into the main compound exercises like deadlift and then pendulum squat afterwards. So we're gonna start on, uh, we'll go up probably in 20s until we get to a working set, 20 per side, 
Uh, and a big thing I'm trying to focus on here is where I'm very flat footed, is actually trying to maintain the arch of my foot, not letting it collapse in. So I'm focusing on that rather than moving more weight because I can move more weight, but not with the optimal form, which is really what we're trying to focus on here. We'll go 200. It's like the aftermath. You suddenly lose your breath on deadlifts like 30 seconds later. The second set felt way easier, well nicer. Although, I've become a victim of deadlifts. I think anyone who deadlifts has nice looking shins. Okay, so next up we've got uh, leg extension, the king of isolation exercises for quads. What we're going to do is a rest pause set, 25 reps. So essentially we're going to look to do a weight I could probably do 12 to 14 reps with. We're going to take a little 10 to 15 seconds rest. We'll do as many reps as we can again, then we'll take another little rest and as many reps as we can again until we get to 25 reps essentially. So it's one big intensity set wrapped up into a, a fun bag of leg day destruction. I move straight on these roofs now. Hold me up or hold me down. Uh, have my back or hold my crown. Either you with me or not. But you better give all you got because I break the chains. Can't control me. You know it's bad when you're doing leg extensions through your hamstrings trying to fire to extend the knee. Your quads and hamstrings work in antagonist agonist opposites. So I can feel my hamstrings on the way down as I'm lowering the weight, trying to slow fight the resistance because my quads are frying. Also, a private leg, leg extension to six, so to give anyone an explanation of how these things work, essentially what I'm doing is trying to make the bottom part of the movement heavier and the top lighter, so that's why I've got uh, an extra weight at the top of the pin here, so it's heavier at the bottom and then lighter at the top where I'm weak, as you see. Half stretch because I want really bad ankle mobility. So our next exercise is a walking lunge. Now, if your ankles are tight and you don't have mobility there, it's then going to be difficult to do a lunge correctly because you have no forward knee travel. So an easy tip is to use a donkey calf raise and do a weight and stretch just to open your calves up a bit more and get a bit more range of motion before doing a lunge. Uh, this also works great for a hat squat, leg press, and a lot of other stuff that needs some ankle mobility. A good way to do this is do 10 seconds stretch, 10 seconds rest, 10 seconds stretch, 10 seconds rest, and basically repeat for 10 rounds. Hang with me. It must be in my face. 
like the cumulative effect. We've got to six of them, so it's fine. Do a few body weight ones and then cramp up. Whole point is to train to failure though and create an adaptive response. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a superset for arms, a superset for delts. So first superset for arms, we're gonna do a standing single arm cable curl, and that's for bicep, obviously. And then we're gonna do a single arm overhead tricep extension to then focus on obviously our triceps. So we're gonna train both of them together. And then we're gonna do a rear delt and side delt exercise after that. Okay, now to finish off the session, as everything, I train high frequency my arms and my shoulders, I'm trying to develop those, so we're going to do a side delt and a rear delt exercise. So we're going to do a very strict side lateral raise, and then we're going to do a dumbbell rear delt fly. We're going to go for about 12 to 15 reps of each, uh, super set together. This is where you get towards the end of the session and you start lagging. So normally I have um, my higher carb days on leg days and today I don't know why I didn't think I'd... I didn't want to do it and I should have done because I feel my energy starting to come down. That's what happens when you do a lot of big exercises, deadlifts, pendulum squats, it's very draining on your uh, body so make sure you feel up. So that is today's leg day training session wrapped up. The pre-workout formula, I was just saying to Lewis behind the camera when we left, was highly disappointing. Um, that did not have enough of a caffeine kick to wake me up, so that session was slightly tired. It's tiresome, but tiresome, I don't know if that's the right word, but we still got what we needed to have done. So let's guys know what you think of the video. We're gonna be putting together a lot more workouts. I've got Lou training program that I have put together uh, working with Nick Gloth, master training programmer that he is. So hence we're doing a lot of different things in terms of like doing the adductor hamstring curl first, going to deadlifts. So we've got a lot, a lot of cool training sessions coming up. Uh, obviously we filmed today at Muscleworks, which is a different location than we have done recently. We're gonna be filming a lot more at different locations of gyms within the UK and hopefully outside of the UK when we're allowed to travel again. So make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the like, drop us a comment below with any questions and let us know what footage you wanna see.